to go by faith you know living a life of faith means that you don't worry about money you know you've got bills look look I don't care how many bills you got around here in Dordrick or anywhere in Holland let me tell you you can't have bills like we have in London oh my god they're wicked them Babylonian over there those people they are real evil that government oh lord they no way, no interest at all in poor people. No time at all, you know, I'm telling you. They're going to crash, man, they're terrible. Let me tell you something. The people invent information, they tell you. You know, there you are, all of a sudden, you get a bill, you get an information saying by email, you didn't even write to them by email. Somehow they got your email address. You remember I tell you about the MI5 thing? They got it covered, right? <laughs> Suddenly they write into you, oh, seven years ago, we overlooked a payment you should have made. Oh, yeah? And now we want our money. Like you have to pay within 40, all this kind of stuff, right? And it's like, hey, I'm about repatriation, you know. You're not getting my money. You think you're getting my... No, man, I'm going to Ethiopia. You can wait, Babylon. Like, oh, you create that one, uncreate it. Right? And just hold one side because I'm homeward bound. All right? Come and join me. Rastafari. Yeah. <laughs> Mama Scala, yes. I've been traveling with you, we've been around uh, on the road for one and a half week or something, yes. and seeing places, meeting beautiful people, and I got some wonderful experiences, experiences with you, and I learned a great deal of uh, how you 
tap into a situation and uh, see the hidden guidance between uh, behind everything and I learned a lot uh, from you and I feel really honored and it's a pleasure to be traveling with you and celebrating yeah. having our own party. That's the fun. Yeah. Right. So, so yes. this, and you know and this is so a, this is a kind of abundance I see within you. And you the, the first thing I remember, you, you were telling about the story that you went to another country, I not, don't, do not know if it's this situation, but you went to a country with only 20 euros. Oh yes. And this this is keeps yes. You know, ringing in my mind, and I said, "Wow, this this woman dares to get out of the comfort zone." And so, how yeah, how, how we do it? Really, you know, the first and foremost, you know, His Imperial Majesty. I give thanks to Him for my life, for my confidence in life, knowing that He is my Father and the ruler of all the earth. This is added confidence for me, so that I can move out into the earth, wherever he's willed me or requested me or invited me through the ones in the community, by the work that they're doing, by the connection that I feel that I should be in that place, you know, the messages come. And, you know, very often I don't have the money um, to make these journeys. That particular journey with the 20 euros, I also had a one-way ticket with that, with that journey, I had a one-way ticket. Um, but, you know, it's... It doesn't matter to, to, to I about the money part of it because I always think whenever I'm needed or requested or invited or um, let's say ordered to be in a place by His Majesty, He will always provide money. So with faith, I can always move it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know that, okay, I need exactly that amount and as He's an exact creator, an exact God, I'm worship him in an exact way, mm -hmm. well, in an exact way, he does give everything exactly. I mean, there are fringes, obviously, but the exactly, the perfection of him is in the exactness, the measure of all things. How do you mean exactly? You're questioning for an exact, exact amount of money or it, something? Well, about? you know, it's, it's a hard desire. For example, when I went with, with a one-way ticket, um, it took a lot of, not just courage, but it took a lot of um, faith to know that I would get that ticket for the exact amount of money that I had, ah. which was 79 pounds. That was the cost of the one-way ticket because I was, I was given an invitation, everything was going to be taken care of, but they couldn't buy the ticket. And they couldn't buy it because it, wasn't, it did cost a lot of money at the time to get a ticket from London to Slovenia for that amount of, you know, at the time in August. So um, I had to, I knew that I had to go. It was a duty. It was, the invitation came for, a celebration they were having and the request was that they have so many young people coming to the festival that they have it was the first time they were doing a festival um, they're having all these young people coming everyone's in green gold and red they're all talking about his majesty and but they don't actually have a history and a cultural reference mm -hmm. um, that brings them from Slovenia to his majesty in Ethiopia Jamaica mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and the world of Rastafari so that connection comes within each one who is calling on his name. So I feel my duty to be able to, with that confidence, move to that situation. So I moved to that situation with a one-way ticket that cost me 79 pounds and 20 euros left in my wallet to go for 10 days. So it's just faith that moved me, knowing that whatever happens, I will get the return fare. And you know, usually it has to come from within. You have to do it. You have to know that, you know, my granny used to say, the Lord help those who help themselves. Mm -hmm. And this has rung in my ears from a little beanie child, from a very tiny child, so that um, the Lord help those who help themselves. You've got to be helping the Lord. You've got to work on that partnership. Mm -hmm. Any partnership, every partnership, every relationship has to be worked on. Everyone that we have. And, and the joys of life and yourself and, and the relationship is, keeps you going. That relationship with my Creator keeps me going in the sense of my faith, so that I know that I'm gonna, I might arrive with a one-way ticket, but I know that my Father is gonna provide through my works, through my duty, through my faith of being there on the one-way ticket 
where most people are dimensioning to say, no way. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. Can you go to this strange place? We've never been there. Do you know anyone who there? You know, but I can be assured that my father's been there. And where he is, there I am also. There he is, where I am also. You know, it's a, it's a partnership that works, that we are, we are together all the time. And, and he manifests in physical ways with the, pe the ones I meet, mm -hmm. you know. I, I met Roland on the internet, but I was able to manifest that act of faith in connecting with him because I saw that he had an insight that was higher than the money that it would take. You know, I'm repatriating, so I, I owe my money needs to be in a certain, certain place. But at the same time, I need to tap into those space of light, those ones with the light that is radiating towards and saying, "Wow, well, we appreciate of that page you're on, where, what you're doing, your works, not just your works by who you are, but just the sounds that you make, the way that you are, the way that you love, the way that you share. And they, they show that, we only show that appreciation, that pretty love yes. of that being, of who I am in my works, in, in, in my reasoning, in my, in my manifestation of the Father through me. Yes. Because he's the one who's filling me up, you know, and, and very often I say, you know, he is King Alpha and Queen Omega. That female part of him, Queen Omega, is the part that I'm manifesting. That's the part that he's using to fill me up as a female, as a woman, as a Rasta woman, traveling, traveling in his light. So that my brethren is not seen for his outer case, but for the inner light that's radiated, that's connecting him with that in such a force that whatever I'm doing, whatever the money, I'm going to have to find it to make that connection before I go on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how much it would cost to get there, because I have to be here, because I know that this is not just about even the moment. These are seeds planting. These are, yeah. these are processes of the future that we're talking about. This is spreading the light of the marvelous works of His Imperial Majesty that shows abundantly through I because of the abundance of faith that allows me and affords me to take away any fear of, oh, I can't go because I don't have enough money. I can't go because I'm, I'm supposed to be somewhere else. You know, weave the weave of life because you are we are the master weavers we are in partnership with the with the controller mm -hmm. who is who is the one who's functioning all the equipment to do the weaving the faith the love the charity the hope the peace you know the, the, the things that say unites because we are one mm -hmm. but these are the things functioned by the master weaver and given to me given to each and every one of us to weave our lives to make sure the things happen that are good and great for us and the greater good of everyone around us. So it means uh, you, you were talking about a partnership. It's, uh, uh, some people use the word co-creation. And uh, when we were in Dordrecht, you were mentioned also. You got a, you, you were in a partnership. Uh, it's uh, the creator needs its creation, and the creation needs its creator. That's right. It's a it's a vital partnership. It's not it, one doesn't work without the other. And, and, and this is what makes everything work. You know, your heart's desires, your visions become reality. Because you are making them reality. Okay, by it's good that you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good that you mentioned the vision, because I remember very clearly, uh, I think it was one, the first or the, sec the second night when we were talking, you, you told me about your vision. Mm. The vision of the Empress Mary Foundation. Can you tell yes. something about the vision? Because oh, I think yes. the, the, why most people are in, in, in problems in this world, and especially in, we're living in a system where people are cut off from their visions. So how can... That, that's why your story is so that important. Yes. Because people need a vision. Otherwise, Without society vision. will give them a vision yes, of theirs. Which is, not of their and which, which is not their own vision. vision. Marcus Garvey, our great, great leader, Marcus Garvey, um, one great leader in the earth, but one you know that is recognized in my life, in all in our lives, in all of our lives, really, because the light that shines—it doesn't matter where it's shining from in the earth—it is touching the lives of people all over the earth, because it's a universal struggle, as one says, it's a universal journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, the thing is that he says that without vision, the people perish. perish you know, and and this is such a real thing. If you if you don't have a vision of who you are and where you're going. You, it might not be clear to you, but you have to trust in that inner 
light, that inner strength, that inner faith, that inner master that knows how, the creator. He lives within, within, within. That lives within. That creator, touch into that creative force and say, yeah, this is, you know, this, this is where I think, this is where I would like to go. That's what I'd like to do. I mean, it's, it's not a, for, for I, it's not going to be a selfish thing. You know, it's my personal life and thing. It's something that happens by the way mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because the greater part of my life is about serving him, listening to the, 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 the orders, the, the, the seeing requests, the signs seeing the signs, knowing that, okay, this person has reached out, they've said that, they've done, they've made that action. That means that needs supporting. I'm, I might not be completely the support system, but just by my presence being in that environment where that person can actually come from the internet, come from the computer and see me in real life to know that this is a real vision mm -hmm. that is in reality. You know, I never used to get visions for many years as a Rastafari woman, right? I never got visions, but when I did get a vision of the Empress Mary Foundation, it was one that was for six weeks, non-stop, weeks. every time I closed my eyes. So I knew that I was definitely getting a vision. And there was no way I could ignore it. There was no ignoring it. And that particular, this particular vision of Empress Mary Foundation is the one that is making his Empress visible. That was the request, that was the order. To make my Empress visible. And that's what he was, that's what commanded my life to make it into reality. Yeah. Yes. Because, because you know, I really believe, you know, people can, if, if people dare to trust in those things, then a lot of more, a lot more yeah, people man. are working this way. Yes. And yeah, because really and truly people do let money hold them back. Yes. The lack of it. The lack of money. And, and also the doubt. The doubt with it. Because it's the thing is that the lack of it is what is a bad seed. Mm -hmm. Because they can't sit in front of them. But what can you see really in front of you? <laughs> you know Sometimes you blind your eyes. Because I'm working in a shop, eh? Yes. At the moment when people start to ask questions, it's when they actually in front of the place. Mm -hmm. and I said, oh, so it's a, oh, oh can, can it, I didn't see it. Yes. Said, no. You know, it's exactly the same thing. These are, li these are life experiences yeah. that are real to who we are on our journey. Mm -hmm. So that it's, it's, you know, it says that we are these beings and we you know we are, we are important yeah. and part of a part of a whole being a one being the, the, the rest of our elders now via the empress Mary foundation the vision that i got of the empress Mary foundation was actually the elders that's what i actually saw the elders on either side just going on to the end of the line, nowhere did it stop. The line of elders on either side, in front, behind. So it showed me that elders in our community, they're like forever. They're forever people. You know, the reality of our elders being forever beings that we have. And the time that we have them is very important that we share with them who we are. They can share who we are. And they've got the wise minds of generations. Mm -hmm. Because everyone is born with a wise mind of generations from a previous life, let's say. But we, as we get older, we forget about it. But as we get older, we remember it more and more and become more of this bigger thing that we need to share with the youth coming and the generations coming. So that the elders of the Rastafari, it wasn't just about their struggle. It was, it was the faith that they had that they knew that they could not be extinct, no matter what the persecution, no matter where they put them. They had his majesty and they held on to his majesty. And this faith kept them so that when I got the vision of them, it was like, yes, let's find them. We need to share quickly, quickly, because they are going to leave us from the physical form. But you know, if you're able to share that wise mind, they're forever with us. Yes. And that's important. Yes. And that, that's what young people don't have. They don't have that connection. So my vision, in educating the community is using the elders to educate the community yes. so young people connect with the elders that was my message connect with the elders so I started this program called adopt an elder and it was really like you know anyone anywhere in the world of whatever age can get in touch with one of these elders and tell them who you are share your life with them and you know they weren't boastful. None of the elders were saying, oh yeah, but it's because of me. Why you come to know something of Rastafari? 
Because somebody could say, but I've never met you before. I've never been to your country. And then they would be able to say, this is the faith. It's my faith in that time of oppression mm. as, an, as a young one or a younger one or a growing one. Because they're now elders, but before they were young. So in the time of the persecution, maybe they were young, but they were holding their faith then. And he kept them through so that now as elders, they can actually turn around and say to the, to the youth, look, let me share this with you. This is important. And the things of the inner are the things that the elders have. These are the wise minds inside. These are things that money can't buy. These are the treasures the elders carry. And that's why it's important that we educate the community. We, when you educate the community using the elders, you're not talking about the elders' personal lives. You're educating the community in, in things of faith, of hope, of love, of how to um, be capable of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is, a, you know, these are life skills that one, they're, they're treasures that the elders carry. And this is where the educate, because once you have that education from the elders, you're empowered. So the nation can be empowered. And that's the, that's the message from the Empress Men Foundation, educating the community to empower the nation. And it's only one nation, because everyone is Rastafari, but most people don't know it. So this is the empowerment of the nation of Rastafari. That's why it's a duty to share with the world that Rastafari come from every strata of life, every culture, every language, every, every tongue. Every color that you get, you know, and no color, because it's it's of the spirit. Spiritual thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the heights of the spirit of Rastafari is really beyond the physical uh, house that we are in. Physical. And this I've seen through the marvelous works of His Imperial Majesty that has brought me. I can say, pay my plane fare to bring me all over the world to share that inner I. I that I. each one has, that makes us I and I, I one. Yes. Rastafari, yes. give thanks, Rastafari. Yes. yes, I give thanks for sharing <laughs> and for seeing the light <laughs> and for the revelation <laughs> that we, we encounter daily, yeah. even as we journey. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Rastafari, yes. Yes. big up yes. and bless up. Yes, sir, bless Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop saying this, yes. it's just the reality.